Well, the tax filing deadline is just one week away from today, April 15th. And if you still have not filed mm. your taxes, we've got some last minute advice for those procrastinators out there. Here with some last minute tax tips is Craig Bolanos, founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group in Inverness and Downers Grove. Thanks for being with us. First things first, uh, for those who, folks who say I can't get it done in time, you say that is not a reason to miss the filing deadline. Why? Do not miss the filing deadline or you will face failure to file penalty. So if there is a reason that you don't have all your documents or you can't get it done, make sure you file an extension. That's the ability of time to push back the filing and due date of your return. But remember, filing an extension is not an extension to pay. So if you're going to owe some money, make sure you make a payment with that extension, Ben. So if you owe some money, you just do you run an estimate on what you may owe. What do you send? You work with your tax preparer or you worked with your tax software to take a best guess to put you in a position as to what it is that you might owe and you submit that payment with your extension because you don't want to be paying underestimated interest sure. and penalties. Okay, that makes sense. When you get this close to the last minute, it may be hard, though, to find a professional to do the work for you. What would you say to someone who's filing taxes on their own and are doing it themselves? Well, the first thing is to remember the resources. You know, I mean, I think there's tremendous value in partnering with a professional, but the reality is the IRS has greatly expanded their free file program. And whether you're filing married, single, head of household, whatever it might be, if your income's under 79,000, you can go this alone through one of the IRS free file programs. Now, it's not gonna give you advice, but at least you don't have to pay for the preparation of your income taxes. And when it comes to deductions, there are some common ones that people uh, miss or just kind of forget about. What are they? Oh, Ben, deductions, credits, all these different things. But there's two things that stand out right now. You know, we're doing our 2023 taxes in 2024. And there's two things you can still do right now today to lower last year's tax bill. That would be opening up and funding a deductible IRA. After all, your future retirement self wants you to put more money away. And for everybody that has a qualifying high deductible health care plan, you really should consider and utilize a health savings account that will also allow you to lower your taxable income for 2023 and that might qualify you for a certain credit or deduction you otherwise might be phased out of getting. Yeah, and I know that for a lot of folks who are doing this last minute, sometimes if they work with a professional, they just kind of go through the, through the uh, things that mm -hmm. have been posted for them and maybe don't necessarily double check the work. And you say it is really important to check for mistakes, especially nowadays. You know, they just happen. Everyone is so busy. There's such a compression of time. Ultimately, you, the taxpayer, we are signing our own return. So I think we all have a personal responsibility to make sure that we don't transpose a digit, check the wrong box, misspell our name. So just make sure that your return looks accurate and check for the easy stuff, spellings, social security numbers, things of that nature. Bank account numbers, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that would be a shame if somebody else got your refund. Yeah. All righty, Craig Volanos, uh, thank you so much. You can check out Wealth Management Group in Inverness and Downers Grove and online at investwithwmg.com.